Hey, I'm Josh Block. We're at Nile City Sound, one of the partners here. We're in the control room, which is a second floor control room, so we can look down on everybody. We're going to talk about a piece of gear or two here. A couple of the more storied pieces would be our console, which originally these were the nerve centers of a studio. Like everything that you do comes through here when you're capturing an instrument. The thing that amplifies that to be recorded is done on this console. The thing that changes the sound of it and sculpts it to be something a little bit more pleasing and fit inside the music would be the equalizers on this console, which you know change the tonality of the instrument. One thing that you might think of and might help you when you're listening to music to think of consoles is you can always hear the dynamics of music when somebody is mixing with faders and being live and they're being responsive as a person as opposed to programming it in to a workstation. Oh, on that other tape. The other, to me, most important part of a studio other than the talent in it would be microphones. I'm a microphone nut. I really am a fan of engineers and producers who find the uh, necessity to really pick out good instruments to capture the sound source with. Every microphone has its voice. It's so, so lucky for it when you hear it. It really places something. It affects the voice, say you're recording a singer. It affects the voice in a way that might not be the most, oh, I'm standing right in front of this singer, it sounds exactly like that singer but in a way that makes it more than that, that places their voice in the music in such an interesting way that it's, it's not just exactly how you heard it. It's something more. That's why I listen to music, is to have that moment happen where I feel like I'm just taken out of reality just enough to catch me off guard. I feel like microphones do a fantastic job of that.